Officials say it took a year to get signs and name change approved with state lawmakers. Those I spoke with say they hope the signs remind drivers of Master Trooper James Bailey's sacrifice. Remembering is respecting. Remembering is honoring. With heavy hearts, family, friends, and officers gathered inside Cruz Plaza to remember Master Trooper James Bailey. I think mortality uh, kicks you right in the gut when things like this happen, but you also realize the magnitude of your service and what you're supposed to do. The nearly 16-year veteran of the Indiana State Police was killed in 2023 while trying to stop a fleeing car. Within days of his death, Representative Ben Smoltz says the community started reaching out wanting to honor Bailey. Truthfully, of, of all the legislation I've done, of uh, this was the one that really just had my heart and I, I just it was very emotional. Lawmakers worked to pass the bill that would rename the portion of I-69. At each step, the legislation passed unanimously. They're not easy to get. It's a very difficult process, arduous process as it should. And I will always look at these differently now as I see them and understand the magnitude of what they actually mean. The signs will be placed along this stretch of I-69. At mile marker 326, a cross will remain standing where Bailey was hit. Officials hope those who travel this stretch of highway remember Bailey's life and service. Thousands of people are going to see that sign, and I really hope that they'll think, wow, that guy was very special. Um, this, the police in the state of Indiana are respected. Officials say the signs will go up next week. They ask that if you see crews working to slow down and move over. In studio, Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.